Mango Math presents Salute, a first grade game. Salute is a first grade game that falls under the math strand of algebraic thinking. And it's an algebraic thinking game that helps students understand subtraction as an unknown add-in problem. Salute has some basic math terms to help with increased understanding, and they are sum, the result of adding numbers, difference, the result of subtracting numbers, and the operations, which are addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. The supplies that are provided in the pouch along with the instruction sheet is a deck of cards, one through 12 of each suit, actually zero through 12. These are specially made cards that are mango cards. You can do it with a regular deck of cards as well. You just take out the face cards. To start the game, you have three players. One player is the judge and holds the deck of cards, and the other two players uh, are players and they face each other. The judge will deal out two cards face down to each player so they cannot see the cards. The judge will then say the word salute, and each player will put the card on their forehead facing out. They cannot see the card in front of them. They're never to look at the card in front of them. The only card they get to see is the card on the other player's forehead. The judge will think in their head four plus three equals seven and will then say seven. These players will look at each other's cards and the player in green will think three plus what equals seven, because he can see the three card on the other player's head. And the other player will think four plus what equals seven. And they will both give their numbers. And the person who got it first gets both cards. So three came up first, that player will receive both cards. This continues until the dealer is completely out of the deck of cards. It will continue dealing two cards face down, saying the sum of those two cards, and having the players figure out the dis difference. I never tell players that this is a subtraction game. All they think of is that this is an addition game because they're, you want them to not be turned off by playing the game. First off, if you said it was a subtraction game, they would be turned off. But they will play this game again and again, and it's a lot of fun for them. Some guided questions to promote critical thinking. What operation are you doing when you're figuring out the number, what number is on your, on your card? And what strategies did you use if you didn't know the answer right away? And is it harder to be the judge or to be the players? So great guided questions. It's a great game. Students will play this game again and again. And it's a great way for them to get their facts down.